hello guys welcome to my channel so if you are receiving this error with EA app then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to start EA background service so first of all if you see this error just exit now once you exit now type in services in Windows search box and then click on services now find EA background service here you can see EA background service now make sure startup type is set to automatic so you can set it to automatic now once you set it to automatic click on apply now if start is highlighted over here click on start in my case it's already running so in your case if you see start click on start and then you can launch EA app and you should not receive this error but still you are receiving the error the next step is to close EA app like you can just hit exit over here and once you hit exit then run EA app updater now to run EA app updater you can just uh, type in EA in Windows search box EA app and then make a right click on EA if you see this EA app updater you can run this if you uh, let me write it once again so just type in EA if you see EA app updater like this you can just run it if you don't see it make a right click on EA app and then click on open file location and then over here you can see EA app updater make a double click click on yes to allow and if it is not up to date it will update and then you can launch EA app now if you are successful uh, in launching EA app in that case disable EA app update and EA background service to avoid error in future so if successful if EA app is launching in that case you can go to EA app and then on the top left click on three horizontal lines and then go to settings and then go to application and over here you can see automatically update you can turn this off open the EA app uh, sorry enable background services if this is enabled you can disable this disable it so that you don't face this problem anymore in future and whenever you want to you know turn on the automatic update you can always enable this whenever you want if you want to enable it later on you can enable it so still the EA app is not opening still you are receiving the error in that case you can update windows to the latest version now for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update make sure your windows is up to date and once the update is complete restart your computer and after that you can try to open EA app and then check now still you are receiving this error next step is to run EA app as an administrator so you can just exit over here and then type in EA app and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then check next step is to close all EA process in task manager so make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager and find if you have if you see any EA services running over here so here you can see I have multiple EA services running so let me close this background EA and close all the background application all the EA services so it's gone there is no more EA now you can try to launch EA app and then check now still you are receiving the error the next step is to clear EA app cache now for this uh, you can first of all click on exit over here and then if you receive the error and then type in EA in Windows search box and then make a right click on EA app and then click on open file location and over here you can see app recovery make a right click on app recovery and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then here you, you will see clear cache option so click on it and once that is done it will try to open EA app and then check but still you are receiving this error in that case repair EA app now to repair EA app first of all you can click on exit on this error now once you hit exit then type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel and then click on uninstall a program and find EA app in the list and let me close my EA app first now once 
you select e app make a right click on e app and then click on uninstall click on yes to allow and do not uninstall you will see repair option so click on repair click on repair and once the repair is complete then you can try to launch e app so let the process complete and then check now still you are receiving the error in that case you can uninstall and re reinstall e app so you can go to control panel control panel then uninstall program and then you can make a right click on e app and then click on uninstall and this time um, it's already trying to install it from the previous step so uninstall the e app this time do not repair just uninstall the e app and then after you uninstall it restarting build and after the system restart you can go to ea website and then you can reinstall the latest version of ea app from ea website so click on download the app run the exe file and install it and then check now the last step is close all the third party applications so if you have multiple applications running on your computer close all the third party application and background application also perform clean boot so type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply and then click on okay you will see a restart option restart your computer and then you can try to launch the app so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to launch ea app successfully and you should not receive this error anymore so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel